Okay, so this is the first time I'm gonna use it. Um, it's really slim, doesn't take up any space, which is awesome. I've already attached the CO2 tank following the instructions, which by the way, if you look at them, oh, they're upside down. It just has to peel off that blue piece. It did not mention it has this little cap. So initially I was trying to install it with this, but I took it off and it looks like it's like um like a magnetic piece or something on top that it like snaps and then you screw it into it. It's on there. I don't want to rotate it because I'm a scary cat. Um the bottle I used uh filtered water, screwed it on, so it looks like it's ready to go. Again, the instructions say two to three seconds, and you just have to hit this button, so let's see what happens. Okay. I think that was two to three seconds, right? I'm gonna unscrew this. And see if the finished product is actually seltzer water because that's what I want. Look at that. That is absolutely carbonated water. Very good. When you screw it in tight, I mean not too tight, you don't want to break anything. Uh, and then you just hit this. I do it three times because that's about how much uh, carbonation I like in my water. Yeah, it looks like I might want to do it maybe. I look at here one more time. There we go. I know that's good and carbonated. So then I unscrew it. <clears throat> Slip it out. I put the lid on it. Now what I do is I use filtered water from my refrigerator. Um, fill it up to the maximum line on the bottle. And then I stick it in the refrigerator and chill the water. Because you want the water cold before you use the CO2. Now I purchased uh, the 60 liter. And that's enough for 33 gallons of uh, carbonated water. Um, this is a pretty good sized bottle. This is a great slim unit. Doesn't plug into anything, no wires, no nothing. Thanks Amazon, great purchase. Let's see how long this one lasts.